I got my graph paper cup. I'm ready. Let's just dive right into this game. It looks like an awesome first Lego League game 2020 replay. Uh, first of all, I'm in my garage. It's a little bit different than um, what you're used to seeing, but welcome, welcome to my garage. So let's just let's just jump right in. First of all, looking at the field, I love the field. All the lines to follow, the colors of the models. It looks like a very very cool field. It's it's laid out nicely. The mission models are kind of spread out a little bit. You've got some in the middle. You've got some along the the, the north edge. You got some along the uh, east edge. You got one along the south edge, and you got one kind of over here by itself in the in the west. Now, one thing that I really would just want to really stress, really hardly this year, is that now. You can come home. You, your, last year, your robot had to go completely off the mat before you can touch it. That was my understanding of the rule. This year, my understanding of the rule is home is anything inside of this quarter of a circle and in here. So you can touch your robot anywhere in this circle and this area. So you can come back to this circle if you launch it from here, it can come back to here. You do still have to launch your robot from here. You can't launch it from here. This is still the launch area. I would pick a spot inside of this semicircle to line your robot up, like maybe line a wheel up with this and your other wheel over here. Uh, line part of your robot up with the grid and the logo that they give you to use to launch your robot every single, I would, I would recommend starting your robot in the same position every single time. You'll see me launch my robot from here. And again, this is the home area. If your robot still fits in the small, small home or small inspection area, you get a points bonus this year. Again, it's just 25 points. It's not five points added to every mission, which I think is, that's fair. That's fair. I like that. It's a good, a good adaptation of the rule. There are 15 missions. So let's just jump, let's jump right in. The first mission is the um, innovation model. So if you get the innovation model in the replay logo or in the gray area around the picnic, all right, or the, the, um, the picnic, it's the bench, around the bench, then uh, you receive 20 points. There's a 20 point max for this mission. Now remember that your model has to be at least four studs in at least one direction. All right, so uh, this is plenty, plenty big. This is eight studs in one direction. It just needs to be four studs in any direction, up, down, left, right, side to side, whatever. It doesn't matter. So 20 points if you get it here in the gray, 20 points if you get it in the replay logo. The next mission, mission two, is the step counter. The step counter, you kind of push this forward at the right speed and it moves the, the little needle, the white needle, that's on the other end of this uh, green thing. I don't know if you can, you can kind of see it in the camera. You move it into the different colors. You have your robot push it into the different colors. Now, uh, if your robot has to find the right speed to do that or a solution to get it into these colors. If you get it in magenta, it's 10 points. Into yellow, it's 15 points. And into the small blue area, it is uh, 20 points. So if your robot can get it, and it's even a little kind of kind of hard to do by hand. I'll pull it. I cheated a little bit, but hey, your robot has to do it, not your hands. So good luck. The next mission is the slide. Now the slide, one figure starts uh, with its back, even with the, the little slope here. Uh, so if you get one figure off, that is five points. If you get two figures off, you get another 15 points. You don't get, uh, in the rule book, it, it says 20, but you don't actually get 20 points. So a total of 25, you actually get a total of 20. So it's like an extra 15 points. So one is five, two is 20. So I get, uh, there's a total of 20 points here on the board. All right, if you take one home, that is 10 points each, 10 points each, maximum of 10 points. If you get one on the large black tire, that is, um, 20 points. I will say with this, it's pretty, uh, 
pretty jiggly. You can kind of just jiggle or bump into this and get an easy five, easy five points. I, I don't know about getting that guy up. It seems a little tough, but I'm sure a lot of you have some cool solutions to getting this guy up and over and onto the mat. The next mission, mission four, is the bench. And the bench, it's a pretty cool mission. I like this. So you get 10 points if you just knock it flat over just like this. You get 10 points each space if you get cubes and you put them in these spaces. You get 10 points each space. So, so far, it's a total of 50 points because there's four, one, two, three, four spaces. It doesn't matter what color the cubes are. It, it doesn't matter. And if you get an extra 15 points if you get the backrest out. It, it just says completely out of both holes. So it doesn't get both holes here. It doesn't have to come home. It just has to be completely out of both holes. So it can be laying like that. It's out of both holes. That's it. That's it. All right. And that's a total of 65 potential points with this one mission. It's a really cool mission. I really like this one. Mission five is basketball. Now, basketball is cool. I, I like this. You put a cube in here and that is uh, 15 points just to get a cube in the basket now if you raise it to this height that's 15 points if you raise it to this whoop, this height that is let me look uh 25 points so you get 25 points so i got 25 points and 15 for here that is a total of 40 points for this uh configuration it's a total of 30 points if you get it into this configuration. Mission six is the pull-up bar. Now, it's in the center of the field. It's kind of like the tallest thing. It's probably the coolest looking thing on the field. Now, if your robot passes underneath, I'm gonna move this. If your robot passes underneath like that at any point in time in the game, then it's 15 points. You don't get 15 points every time, just once. It only counts once. So if you go through, you get 15 points. Now. If at the end of the match, at the end of the two and a half minutes, your robot is hanging on the pull-up bar, you get an extra 30 points at the end of the match. That mission hanging on this is 30 points. So you get a possible total of 45 points by just passing through it and then hanging on top of it. Mission seven is the robot dance. So there's kind of like a dance square over by the uh, little it's kind of like a three-point line basketball court by the shared mission, uh, just just kind of right to the right of the basketball hoop. There's a there's a little dance area. Now, if your robot is doing a dance, that's any kind of fun, repetitive movement, spinning around, doing a little jig. However, you uh, want to program your robot to dance. If you're using the spike primes, you can light up the 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 uh, thing to make cool colors, the the brick to make cool colors. If you uh, are dancing on the at the end of a match, that is 20 points. So as the bell rings, as the buzzer goes off, your robot's dancing, that's 20 points for that mission. The next mission is the tire flip. Now, you've got a big black tire and a small blue tire. If you flip the big black tire so the white is showing, then that is 15 points. If you flip this one, the blue one, that's 10 points. Now, if you get them both into this circle, all right, that's five points each. So that's a total. Let's see, we got 15, we have 10, so that's 25. And in here, that's five points each. So that's 35 points for the tire flip mission. The cell phone is another flip mission. So if you flip the cell phone over so the white is showing, you get 15 points. The weight machine all the way in the back corner of the mat. I really like this one because there's a lot of choice with this mission. So the first thing is we have a little stopper lever with this mission. And the rules say if the stopper lever is under the yellow, so you, you put this where you want it at the beginning of the match. You can kind of move this to, to how you want it. So if the stopper level, if your robot comes over here and pulls this down and the stopper level is under the yellow, you get 20 points. If it's uh, If at the beginning of the match, you set it so it's on purple and you, your robot pulls this down, lifts the weight up and it stops under purple or magenta, then you get 15 points. And if it is under blue, I'm just gonna slide it. If it's under blue, then it's only 10 points, but you have a lot and blue's easiest to pull down and the yellow is the hardest to pull down. So you have a lot of choice in that mission and the harder one 
uh, gives you more points. The treadmill mission is a really cool mission. Uh, so what your robot does is comes and it spins these things with a wheel or with a, an attachment and it moves the dial. And the more, the further you move the dial, the more points that you get. If it's in gray, you get five, red 10, orange 15, yellow 20, light green uh, 25, and dark green, that's the one all the way over here, you get uh, 30 points for that mission. So if your robot moves that all the way to the dark green, just like it is right now, uh, then your robot gets 30 points. The rowing machine looks so fun, all right? Uh, it, it's uh, all the way kind of on the, the far east side of the mat, and uh, it, your robot is tasked to pull this back to lift these wheels up, and then if your robot moves this into the target circle, it gets more points. So to just pull it back to have these up, so you just kind of pull it back to where it's, uh, these wheels are off of the ground and out of this circle, then, uh, it's 15 points, but if you get it in this circle, it's another 15 points. You have potential for 30 points for the rowing machine mission. I like this mission. It's a super cool mission model. Uh, it, it's, it's really, really neat. Next, we have the health units. Now, the health units, uh, there, there are three in, in uh, home or base, and then there's uh, five out. There's one uh, there by the basketball hoop. There's one on the dance floor. There's one behind the step counter. There's one behind the rowing machine, uh, and there's one uh, in the actual uh, pull-up bar base. Now, the goal is to collect them and get them either on the replay logo, all right? Uh, so that's five points each, okay, on the replay logo, or hang them on top of the pull-up bar at the, for the end of the match. You can do it any time in the match, but you, if you're gonna hang them, you can only have a maximum of four. So either way you do this mission, eight on the replay logo or the gray area around the bench, uh, that's five points each times eight is 40 points. Or you hang four of these, all right, and uh, it's 40 points to hang four of them. Now, those are both in. Some part of them has crossed the gray, okay? That's in, 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 out. Okay, so it's got to be some part of it has cro has got to be on the gray. The same thing with the replay logo. That's that's in. That's in. That's not in. Maybe there's a loophole to score more than forty points with these. Actually, I'll give you a hint. You can hang four on the pull-up bar, and you can put four in the gray or around the bench or on the replay logo. And uh, four times five is twenty. Plus forty is sixty. So that's sixty points. Last but not least, now last but not least are the precision tokens that are in the, the uh, corner of the field. If you have six uh, left at the end of each match, uh, you get 60. If you have five, you get, uh, I believe it's 45. If you have four, it's 30. If you have three, it's 20. If you have two, it's 10. And if you have one, it's five. Now, the way that you lose these is if you touch your robot while it's out doing stuff on the mission field. If you touch your robot, if you interrupt your robot in any way, then the uh, referee will take a precision uh, token away. I call them precision pucks because they look like hockey pucks. Uh, and no, I've never played hockey in my life. So then there's boccia. Uh, I've always called it bocce ball, um, but boccia is this mission and this mission, uh, these mission models over here. So this mission model, this mission model, and that's the shared mission. Now, Stay with me here because this gets a little bit confusing. So if each team, if you and the team that is on the table beside you, each sends a cube over to uh, the other field and it's color matched, you get 25 points. Now, if, uh, you, at least one has to be colored. So if you send both of these, both teams start with a red and a blue. If you send both of them, then you're guaranteed a color match. So say the other team, knocks over a, the red and the blue uh, cube that is the shared mission. You get five points each for having them in the frame, that's this area, uh, and you, uh, or in the target. So uh, this is, that's this small area. So you have the frame and the target. Now, the other thing is this guy right here, if you turn him, if you turn him, because he starts with this guy 
even with that black line right there. So if your robot turns in and lifts this up to send the yellow cube in, then you get 10 points if it lands completely in the target area. So you have to aim this, you have to aim this right for it to land completely in the target area. There we go. So if this is the scenario, there's 25 points added to each team because each team sent over the red and the uh, the blue. And then there's 15 points for having cubes in the frame or target area because five points for each cube. And then there's 10 points for this. So there's uh, uh, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50 points for this shared mission for your team. There's other points involved with the other team as well. I hope you enjoy this game as much as I think you're gonna enjoy this game because it's a really cool game. I'm super excited to see all the solutions to the uh, missions on the field. Uh, you're gonna see inspiration videos from me uh, along the way. I hope you tune in, uh, subscribe, uh, and uh, we'll share ideas. But before, before you go, uh, first is always included mentor little keychain medallion thingies. Uh, I've really appreciated that. I put one on my backpack every single year. But this year, I think these are for the students. Uh, these little things. There's really no explanation for them in the uh, kit. Maybe I'm wrong, but first, that's awesome. A little souvenir for each kid. I like it. I will see you all super soon.